What's up, everybody? I'm Nick Major, APTV correspondent, and today I'm out in San Bernardino, California, at Taste of Chaos, and I just wrapped up an interview with the latest DJ to hit the scene, Mark Hoppus. We chatted about what it was like coming into the DJ scene, as well as some future Blink plans, so stay tuned to see what he had to say. It is an honor to be sitting in front of the biggest DJ artist of 2015. <laughs> I've been counting down this day. So how does it feel to be out here? I'm actually pretty nervous because it's like when you're on stage and you're singing and you don't have a bass, for me at least. Like, I don't know what to do with my hands. When you're playing your computer, you really don't know what to do with your Give hands. Give me an example. So what do, you, what do you tend to do with your hands when you're up there then? Uh, I do a lot of like this, when people singing along, pointing, you're a professional pointing at the sky, I'll point at people, I'll run around, I'll do, I'll bang my head around, things like that. What's your DJ name going to be? I was thinking Mark Hip Hoppus, <laughs> but that's if you want to throw a hip hop twist into this. You know what, I do throw some hip hop into the set here and there, uh, but it's mostly rock music and hip hop, not a lot of dance. I don't really know anything about EDM and I'm not really knowledgeable about that world and I don't listen to that kind of music so I don't really play that kind of music when I'm on stage DJing. And you started the DJing, I believe your first performance was back at Emo Night. Yes. Which is like my favorite thing to go to every Tuesday. Yeah. I missed the one you were at because I'm a horrible person but I've <laughs> gone to all the ones since then. So They're all terrible. Uh, apparently the ones that I don't go to are terrible. Oh yeah, you just keep telling yourself that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah nobody has any fun. But so how did that come to be? Because I love the, the three people that put it on, TJ, yeah. Babs, and Morgan. They're no, they're amazing. great. The people that put on Emo Night are really cool, and they asked me to be part of it. And I told them, like, I'd never DJed before, uh, but I would do it if I could learn just the basics of it before I got on stage. So I spent, like, two weeks practicing a whole lot, and I'm still practicing, and I still totally make mistakes. Like, when I'm at my house and I'm going through the set, I'll, like, push the wrong button and everything will just grind to a halt, and then I'll have to go, oh, shit. What did I do? What did I do? So I'm... I'm kind of at a B level right now. I'm hoping I can pull off a B, B plus set tonight. We're going to hope for a solid B tonight. Yeah. And I have a good feeling. It's going to be great. All when, right. you're, when you're in the practicing, are you practicing the moves in there as well? Or is that just... No, I don't practice the, the moves so much. Actually, the moves I do at my house are pretty stupid. Because like, I'll get into it and I'll start doing dances, but they're really stupid. I'm hoping to see some of these on stage tonight. Because I've been, I honestly, I've been be trying to figure out how to dance like the dude from Future Islands. Oh, you need to figure it out. Have you been watching? Yeah. Okay. I need, I need that dance. Do you have it down yet? Or no, not at all. I think you should attempt it tonight in front of a live audience. You'll really see the response, and then you'll know. What I look like when I try and dance like the dude from Future Islands is I look like a bad speed, speed skater. In my opinion, a bad speed skater is a perfect dancer. So <laughs> I think that if that's what you think you look like, you need to go ahead and do it. All right. I might try that. And before long, you're going to be doing your own independent DJ tour, right? It's yeah. Hopefully, get, at some point, you can get, that get to that. Once you get that B up to the A. Yeah. I just need to improve my chops. And what I like to do is just learn my craft in front of like 10,000 people. That's, that's when you actually <laughs> like practice. Really like really practice in front of thousands and thousands of people. And if I make a mistake, then hopefully they'll understand. They don't even know. They're so into it. They're watching you point all around. So yeah. they, don't, they don't know what's going on. If I mess up and I, and I stop the show for whatever reason, I'll just grab the mic and be like, hey, break up that fight over there. <laughs> I, I'm not continuing until you guys break that. Okay, cool. Now I'm going to start again. And the security's like, there's no fight over there, sir. No, there was. What there was. There totally I was. They broke it up when I said stop. But before you go, I got a gift for you. Okay. So I lived in Reno, Nevada before I moved to Los Angeles. And right. this was the license plate that I had on my vehicle that I used to drive around with. That's crazy. And I have to bestow it to you. Do I get it for yes, real? Yes. I have one more. I always said if I was okay. to get the license plate to one person, it would be to Mark Hoppus. Okay. This is going in my studio for real. Uh, that would mean a lot to me. All right, cool. So that was my license plate. I drove around with that for years. Then I moved here. Well, I'm glad that you got this one, and I'm even more glad that I got this one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Awesome. So Thank you be, very much. Yeah, absolutely. I'm so excited. It can I put like this on stage? Please do. Okay. Put I'm going to put stage. this as part of the stage tonight. Robert, can we have this on stage? That's going on stage, but I'm so excited to see what you guys have. It seems like you guys are pretty thrilled yeah. with uh, what's going to be coming around. And obviously, Matscape is such a talented, amazing human that I like can't help but smile when I think <laughs> about the stuff that you guys are going to be making. So... Can you say anything yet about any of that? Or is it all free on the DL uh, well, right we now? have a few songs that are pretty far along, pretty well in. And at this point, although everything could change drastically, but right now the stuff that we're writing sounds like early Blink meets early Alkaline Trio. That so, sounds amazing. Yeah, we're really happy. I'm really happy with the way that it's going, and the energy in the studio is great. And Matt's awesome. Travis is, of course, awesome. And I am really and awesome. You're, <laughs> so you're the best. nothing uh, except good stuff is going to come out of the studio. That's great to hear. Any time frame when we can expect to hear anything? Or are you guys not? There's been discussions, on? and we are we have a target date, but I don't want to say anything you because know. you, you never don't know, know if things change, and then you're, they're like, oh well, you know, something got delayed, and then people 
get so mad at me. It's better to just be like, all right, it's, it's better to be like, ready now. We are working in the studio. We do have a date, and we are very excited about the new album and touring. Right on. So, no touring as of now. I'm guessing you guys are just more focused on the album. Writing right now and getting ready to tour. Perfect. And in the downtime, you're going to be DJing it up, making the hottest clubs bounce. And you're going to be dropping the bass. I will of, drop the bass. Instead of slapping the bass. <laughs> That's what you're going to be actually transitioning over to. But uh, thanks so much for chatting, Mark. All right. Pleasure thanks to for meet having you. Me. And uh, enjoy yourself out there. You're killing it. Thanks for the license plate. You're welcome. Thanks.